You have to precog disassemble it. Uh, it's probably a higher level than your your uh, what was uh, whatever it's called psychometry. A higher level than your, your psychometry. Me talk good brain brain good much smart. Uh, I have three Hulk honey injectors. Here, have one of those. And then also have... Have this stun gas grenade. Alright, last person here that might be able to help us is Mafio. Wake up! Small trinket, weird artifact. Don't mean synth. No, these are implants. Nothing. Well, poopers. All right. Well then. I guess I'll hit up the six-day stilt real fast just to see. Like I'm really just trying to get a couple of a uh, couple of helpful things. So many bloodstains. On our way to the six day stilts. No. Lost in the desert. Well, almost the desert. Oh, let's really admire the turning people into dust effect. I love watching their silhouette just breeze away. 107 damage. 114 damage. God. We have such a good laze. Oh, right, right, right. We leveled up. So, light manipulation. It's increased by 10. So, 11, and then 12. 17. I could equip that other gun, and we might actually be able to get a couple levels out of it now. Jay! I'm in New York. I'm still on my, my vacation. You can see I'm not on camera, but Benji is uh, on camera for me. He's a good boy. I was back uh, yesterday, but I didn't actually tell anyone I was back. <laughs> Which I realized... <laughs> Not, not the best way to do a stream. Basically, uh, my normal days, Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, but it's going to be like later at night, so closer to 9 p.m. I'm going to start. And it'll be a little shorter. Don't want to burn your sink's fault on it? That's fair. Chat. Trade. What do you got? Man, I never get lucky. I always find low-level dromads. But I'm no longer lost. Let's get out of here. So basically, look for me at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Have a dash or lily heart, stones, zipper. I guess I've learned some Reshef secrets. Why not? All right, let's just do a circuit. Yeah, you'll probably find another one. Gunsmith, Kipper. I guess I should look at the Kippers. They could have more, more, more stat possible items. You know what I mean? Nope. Is there anyone else on this one? No. My clones are, like, I just, I don't know who I am when I look at the screen. They're slowly driving me insane. Bookbinder, shoemaker. Apothecary. 
I don't think an apothecary would have anything I want. Uh oh. Oh, uh, I may have. Uh... Whoops. My my system. Pickles, phase shift, dream smoke. I may have beguiled all of the shops that I wanted stuff from in the six day stilt when I was putting this character back together. There might there might be some folks that are still uh, upset with me about that. If they're clones and not few clones, can't you just tattoo yourself? Yeah, I could change them by tattooing them or tattooing myself. Which I should probably do. Haberdash or snail farmer. I do have just a crappy six day stilt though. Dude, you don't want to pick a fight with me. Don't do it. Well, I have no choice but to see what his gear was now that he's dead. Bunch of stuff that I'll take apart. Disassemble. Disassemble. Nothing in that chest. Nothing in that chest. Nothing in that chest. All right. Clones, if there's any gear you want to wear, please take it. This is Charles. Yeah, you mean when the save file got corrupted beyond repair and we had to sadly wrap up with a corrupted save file? Starting to think that maybe. Maybe a lot of these vendors are still pissed at me. With that whole beguiling thing I did. Because there should be one... One schematics vendor somewhere in here. Oh god, what'd you people do? Who'd you kill? It was another chef, wasn't it? Oh god. It was. Where was the schematics vendor? I definitely have a schematics vendor somewhere on this map. They're not a point of interest because they're hostile right now, I bet. And that's again, that's my bad. I did beguile all of them. I feel like playing Esper has a higher chance of corrupting your save. I feel like you're right. I feel like you're very right. Like, it's been... It's been very unstable. Just just wildly unstable. See, she's not angry with me. Where was the schematics vendor? I know there was one. Very specifically, if you have a high level Esper and there's a lot of beguiling going on, good, good Christ. Things get real out of hand. I had so many messages about like, items that shouldn't exist Game don't know what do. Yeah, I'll eat food soon. Hello there, mighty Odin. Where the hell have you been? Hello there. I saw you playing a game, but I forgot what game it was. I know there's a schematics vendor.
That's the guts monger. Maybe, maybe there isn't one. Maybe I'm just confused. Yeah, maybe there isn't one. Well, jeez. Another bad six day still. A layer of a legendary voider, just voiders everywhere. Poizov. Poizov. Ooh, cycle glands. Uh, and then eat some hot and spiny. Okie dokie. Well, that's disappointing. Ah, yes, it was fall flat. That's what I saw you playing. Well, back to Yid Freehold. I guess I could... Oh god, I beguiled all these people too. Alright, let's do this the right way. We'll go down into the convalescence bot. Hello there, bird that eats donuts. Okay, they're not pissed at me. That's all that matters. Is there a way to wish up a new six-day stilt? I suppose you could rebuild. That would theoretically change the six-day stilt, right? Oh god, did I just walk into a clam without paying attention? No! <laughs> I've been running into a lot of weeps that are interdimensional, uh, interdimensional assassins. This is a... An Inkweep from the unit of Mahogany. Not... not the most intimidating. Interdimensional Assassins, oh yes. When you are a high-level Esper, people want to eat your brain. This is Charles X4 now, yes indeed. They do have Esper powers, but my my slimy friend just tears through them before they have a chance to do anything. Oh my god. You know, I should actually, if it says there are ruins here in the Palladium Reef, I should probably let that happen, because I do need to find Zetachrome. We have a free Beguile slot, my dear, and we gotta find uh, a new friend to Beguile. Currently, it's me, Uzi Usborn, and two clones of myself, Professor Sex Xavier, and Spare Parts and Need Dem Livers. What do you got? High Capacity. Phase Harmonic. Oh yeah, Phase Harmonic is a yes. Willowy is yes. Gas Tumbler, I don't think I need. Phase Shift Grenade, though, that seems pretty good. Pico the Undying. Do we have Spiral Boar Schematics? I don't! I'm looking for that, too. Wait a minute, I know this stream! <laughs> you just have the cam off. Yeah, I'm on vacation in, uh, in New York. And I don't have a great setup here. Like, this room is an L-shaped closet, basically. And, uh... Maybe, maybe we save that update for another time, Windows. Good lord. I'm sitting on the edge of a bed with a... a hastily prepared desk at the edge of the bed that has just enough room for my computer, a monitor, and teetering on the edge, balanced on a chair, is my <laughs> is my laptop where I have chat and rather than like have a really crappy webcam that is not doing a great job of showing me I figured we have Benji cam and if I ever want to I could just hi I'm over here where Benji here Benji oh 
Such a good boy. So yeah, I can just lean backwards. My back is killing me. Like, there's no back support. Obviously. Obviously there's no back support. There is no back here. It's just, I'm on the edge of a bed. My back! My back! Kill me! So most... I'm gonna try and like... Not every stream is going to be a keyboard and mouse game, because if I'm not doing keyboard and mouse, I could just lean against the wall and sit sideways. And that's a lot less, uh, back destroying. The title makes sense now. Oh, Benji's leaning against me now. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. I'm being, I'm, I'm pillow form now. Trade complete. That's fucking adorable, mate. Yes, it is. He's an adorable boy. Of course, now Benji Cam is is what Benji Benji Butt Cam. <laughs> it's it's Benji Butt Cam. I could lure him away from me with a snack if you want. If you desire to see more Benji. Uh, Bep? Oh, not Bep. You. Trade. Nothing I want. <laughs> one of the countries America bombed one time. Doesn't narrow it down, no. Probably more than half the world. <laughs> oh, here we go. Some more gear I can give my team. Oh, yes, and weapons. Okay. Well, it's time to find the evil button. Hey, bud. Wouldn't it be cool if we were tree friends, you and I? Why don't you give me... Everything. Give me everything. Give me all those tacos. Considered kebab removal experts. As in you are very good at eating kebabs? I do love a good kebab. Alright, what are you wearing? Studded leather armor, leather cap, goggles. Oh, remove. A more niche country. I'm trying to think, where where is a good... Like Turkey? Turkey's pretty into kebabs, right? Serbia? Stud of leather armor, no, my friend. Crystal Shardman. Whoa, whoa, was it Serbia or was it Turkey? Both equally possible. <laughs> Stunrod. Yeah, you know what? Stunrod. You're not supposed to be getting in close anyway. Don't hold a hat in your hand, you stupid idiot. Serbia, nice. Crystal boots, excellent. Crystal gauntlets for your hands. Alright, that's one clone. Who's a lot better off now. Uzi's going to receive all these weapons, which he'll melt because... <sighs> he has acid now, which is very unfortunate for me.
combustion sound. A slip ring. Slick grease stuff coats the hexagonally arranged pores across the surface of the metal torus. There's a push cap for lubricant. Chance to slip away from natural melee attacks. <laughs> what do you mean nice? There's nothing nice about it. Nothing nice about Serbia? <laughs> you could be out in like a nice little quiet part of Serbia, maybe. All right, where the hell's my weight coming from? Armor, of course, obviously. <clears throat> you there. I did. I did try to avoid acid, but now he's got it. Manage your gear. Crystal shard mail now. Moving on up in the world. Wide brim hat. Null face, why not? Pair of helping hands. Here, have a cleaver. It's a boy cleaver. Arc winder. Spike steel gauntlets. Crystal boots. And then give items? Do I have anything else to give you people? Here, have a slip ring, I guess. Feels so good when a lair creature is only disliked by macadamists. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen an arc winder get used before. Learn, 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 learn. All right, this could this could be big for helping me not be weighed down cuz now willowy. Item cannot break or crack. Who, who knows what I need if we want to get a thing to not be dissolved by acid? Someone let me know. Lacquered. We're looking for lacquered then. Mod with tinkering, feathered, gesticulating. Six-fingered, spiked, sturdy. Oh, we'll just go with Willowy again. There we go. That'll help me carry more. It winds some arcs up. Who's using an arc winder? Not you. Is that a blast cannon on the floor? Come on. A spiral crank closes a chrome encased circuit and ejects charge through two contact tips. Smoke twirls through their yellow glow. It seems like it's a stun gun. Boop, boop, boop. Oh yeah, uh, you stay here, plant. Stay here. Oh, he's already been told to stay here. This is not the first time I have beguiled this poor shopkeeper and stole everything he sells. Golly, it feels good to be a gangster. <laughs> Gorsh! Grandoval had an arc winder in one of his series. Do you remember which one? I do enjoy watching Gremdeval's content. Although I haven't watched any of his recent cut runs, because I wasn't... I hadn't seen the content yet. I'm like, I don't want to spoil it. So I haven't watched him go into the moon stare yet. Spare parts. Could you hold on to this big gun for me? 
Please don't drop it. He's gonna drop it, isn't he? All right, he didn't drop. Perfect. Once more into the breach. He hasn't done anything in a few months. That makes sense. I was going to say, I haven't really even seen anything. Uh, was the floor below this one? Okay, there's a psychic in here who got us teleported to a new place. Ooh, there's a psychic in here. Now that I think about it, we could... We could beguile whatever interdimensional psychic is here trying to kill me. It's an interdimensional Svardim. Native dimension known as the Pale Trapezus. He's listed as tough. He might he might be a good target for this. Alright, I'm in precog, which is the perfect time to try and do this. Warp directly next to him. Beguile the man. Your coquetry infuriates the man. That's just me. Berate him. Alright, he's been shamed. Let's go into my inventory, go into my tonics. Let's equip this in my right hand. Alright, now he is shamed and lovesick. Let's beguile him for realsies. Okay. Hello, new psychic friend. Can we rename you? Oh, we can't rename interdimensional people. That's fine. Not like we're gonna forget who he is. He's the only winged frog in the party. Managed mutations. Night vision, beguiling, siphon vim, eager projection, precog, light manipulation, teleportation, disintegration, force wall, space-time vortex, stunning force, sundermine, teleport other, clairvoyance, mental mirror. Let's tell him to acquire new mutations. Uh, we're gonna manage your attributes. I want you to focus on your ego, your agility, and your toughness. Hmm. Manage your skills. Well, I guess let's look at your gear first. Naked. That is a naked frogman. Okay. Uh, enable gear pickup. Let's give you some items. Not that I have anything to give you. I just outfitted a bunch of people and threw all other stuff on the floor. Uzi, are you carrying anything I can give to this guy? Nope. How about you, Professor Sex Xavier? You got anything I give him? Nano Weave Vest, Wide Brim Hat. Give those to me. Alright, here you go. You get these things. He's equipped them. Ah, uh, bow and rifle, zero out of two. I'm gonna give you. Heavy weapon. Focus on heavy weapon. Hey, other? Other me? You got anything I could give him? The blast cannon? Alright, give that back to me. I don't think this guy has learned how to use heavy weapons yet. But just in case. Slap it in his hands and see what happens, right? Immediately, a clone of you I forgot was there charges at me, but I've leveled and improved my gear. Maybe I could smoke him this time. Is it an evil twin or like a, a clone that happened from a cloneling? Would you like to start 
No, 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 we're gonna keep this reality. This is good. I have a new psychic friend who looks like he's going to be pretty, pretty helpful. Oh god, are those rhinoxes? No, they're glitter mench brainers. That's not too bad. We got some kind of reef hermit here. We're in Malop Den. We're trying to get to Electric Quagmire, which I'm guessing is the bottom. So two more floors to go, I'm gonna assume. Oh, a refraction clone. If you've leveled up, then yeah, you almost certainly could just break him apart. Alright, Sunder Mind did the job. Let's tap the mass mind and sunder the mind of that Craig Mench. And then I'll teleport over here. Temporal Fugue. Make lots of me's. Stand in the corner and let them work. I'm sorry, Turtle, are you heading- are you heading toward me? Don't- no, no! <laughs> God damn it. Uh, stupid auto mod. It's why would auto mod want to prevent someone from using an abbreviation for fuck? Come on, come on. I didn't do the double bag myself thing. Ah, uh, yeah, I I need to do that too. It's really funny because I'm pretty sure I remember if you are the person I'm thinking of, you learned that while we were doing it on stream, and I'm not even doing it this time. I should really be doing that. Oh, come on! I need to re... make that man join my team? Okay, Love Injector. Let's equip that. I need to... be better about things I have... brought up. I should be double bagging here. Okay, everybody, stop beating him up. He loves me now. Man, I have to berate him if we're gonna get this to work. This dude's got high ego. Really? That failed too? There we go. That took... took a few tries. Once again, a naval gear pickup, manage attributes, ego, toughness, agility. Uh, if you're going to learn anything, please learn how to use heavy weapons. He's learned acrobatics, endurance, and tactics. That's all he's learned. In oh, and some self-discipline. Good for you, buddy. Good for you. All right, spare ports. Uh, give me the blast cannon. Professor Sex. Give me the hats and the nano weave vest. Uzi, you got anything for me? No. You? Tell him to move. Take a step over here, please. You get the vest, the hat. One nuclear cell. One combustion cell. Floor below is not even a historic site? Yeah. Sometimes... Sometimes it's not. A blast cannon. Trade complete. He equips the stuff. Re-equip my weapon. Let's look at Uzi. Does he have any weapons currently? Did they all melt yet? Crystal Dagger, Crystal Longsword, Steel Dagger, Utility Knife, Utility Knife, Longsword. He has no axes, though. We gotta get this guy some axes. 
And he's still using the chain laser. No! You move slower with that in your inventory. Come on. I wonder if I could just dance up and down the stairs until the game saves again. Down, up, down, up. There we go. Saving game. You wasted your spiral bar. You should have precogged it. Just rewind. This is not how it happened. Alright, unlike last time, it didn't re-roll the enemies on the floor. Thank God. That's where that chrome pyramid came from. Why is it quiet? Teleport over here. Fugue. I don't see Uzi. 21 tiles away. It turns out you cannot beguile robots. I did kill it and take its, uh... Whoop, there it goes. This is a bad floor. I think I'm gonna have to just focus on killing things very efficiently. No fuging on this floor. I think all the electricity is causing it to crash. Crash. Doesn't every historic site have the chest with a special loot? If it's listed in historic sites, it should at least have multiple floors. Fuget about it. Yeah, no fuging on this one. No fuging on this one. Alright, let's clairvoyance, like, all the way over here. I'm looking for the stairs. There are the stairs. How did... How the fuck did Uzi come with me? That is ridiculous. In 2970 BR, Kuram won a decisive victory against the combined forces of Kamrod Hall at the bloody Battle of Duar Hollow. Though she lost her prize, Dominanticus, the friend of robots, during the course of the conflict, as a result of the battle, Duar Hollow was so rife with smash rubble that it was renamed the Commanding Havoc. Oh, we got a quest to go find Dominaticus, friend of robots. That was a random ruin. It was in the same tile. Yeah, yeah, but it was just next door to it. I've had that happen to me. It purr. Yeah, no, it's going to be the last floor. Let's go up and down until the game saves. There we go. Pass time until I can use clairvoyance. Okay, okay. Well, shit. I just recruited that man. <laughs> Wait, the Craigmensch Brainer from upstairs? He didn't even die on the floor we're on? What a jackass. Oh my god. I wasn't allowed to rename him because he was an interdimensional friend. Alright, the magma guy we want to be very careful about. Is that a slice of cake in there? Quartz Ferris Mirror. I'm hoping Uzi cannot find his way to that particular slime. Let's just clairvoyance again over here. Perfect. He's stuck in a wall with a Vanta Bloom. Never have to worry about him. We could just go to the left. And there's the staircase. Very convenient. I look forward to playing not an Esper in the future. <laughs> Hoping for another crash so our companion who died can come back to life. Part of me is kind of hoping out for that. But at the same time, like, we're going to find other interesting people that we could beguile. 
This better be electric quagmire. Okay, this is the floor we're looking for. The vessel was too weak without the soul of Pigo. There's our chest. There's evil me. Sunder the mind of evil me, come on. Oh my god, I actually managed to sunder Charles' mind? Your reputation with the Society of Destined Vacuum Tube has decreased by 200. Unshelled reptiles went down. Someone re someone legendary got murdered by our good slime friend, who is now perilously close to two portals to other places. No, sweet Jesus, I beg you. Uzi. Direct to move. Just get get away. Oh. Uzi, how are you already next to them again? You are scaring me, Uzi. He moves so fast. Walls with emerald deposits in your ruin. Nice. Someone's gonna be rich. I wonder who was the legendary. Okay, Uzi. Again, these portals are very close to you. I swear to God, if the chest I'm after gets sucked into that hole... I'm gonna precog from here on out. Oh god, Uzi! You're always next to one of these fucking things, man. Wet memory eater. Uzi! Somehow it didn't get sucked in. Legendary Trining Lamprey. Oh, you are very annoying. He's phased. Hmm. Phased, you say? Mod. Affects both in phase and out of phase. I can make this gun phase harmonic. And I'll still have enough to phase harmonic something else, but I can't tinker with things nearby. I wonder if I could beguile this thing. It is what's making all these fucking portals! Oh my god, there's so many of them! Open. Fabricates an astral tabby. Yeah. Hell yeah, astral tabby. Okay, I'm into that. It's a portal rave. We just got a very good friend. A phased companion. Well... 
Which portal was it? <coughs> you also have an astral tabby artifact? Very guys. Well, we can go get Dama Nanticus, a friend of robots. Okay, our friends are here. <laughs> Activate. A fully formed Shemalarat Kazir, legendary Astral Tabby. Oh, look at him. Serrated bite, serrated claw. This guy is going to... Oh my god, wait. Serrated will dismember, right? He's a swarmer. Yeah, they're always one-time use the boxes. This is a very, very nice companion to have. Uh, manage your gear. I have nothing for your body, or your head, or your face, or your back, or your feet. 17 penetration, 62. Serrated dismembers, this is excellent for us. We need body parts. Uh, manage mutations, N astral, psychometry, siphon, vim. We'll do acquire new mutations. Direct ability use, you can use all that. Manage attributes, strength. Agility, toughness. Enable gear pickup. X. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Learns Berserk, learns Hook and Drag. That means they already have Dismember. I don't even need anything else in the Axe category then. Uh, in that case... Wow, you could actually hold pistols? That's kind of surprising. I'll learn some tactics. <clears throat> I guess pistol. I, I don't know if how they would hold pistols, but... Do I have any pistols in my... No, I have a chain laser. Well, my new astral tabby friend... Would I like to go to the start of my vision? No, this is perfect. Like, I think that all worked out great. We got the item we were there for. We didn't get to, like, fully explore the floor, but whatever. We're still looking for Zetachrome, but now we have a way to get body parts. I'm kind of hoping we could find some, like, equipment for the Astral Tabby, but they'll equip themselves as we walk around. So, in theory, if we just wander around the jungle, we're gonna find... Where the hell am I? Oh, there I am. I'm way up there. Uh, I could go to Ezra real fast, see if there's anything good in the shops. I mean, I am here, after all. Like, why not? Ooh, do 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 uh, historic sites. We're done with Tatum. We're done with Urkazur slums. We want to find Dominanticus, the friend of robots, which is at Camrod Hall. A reshaping pod. That's weird to have here. Examine. A unicomputer. A fusion power station. 
I wonder, like, if there's something associated with that. Like, could we... Could we be recompiled? Could we die and come back at that station somehow? Oh, someone used mass mine on me! Alright, are, are people pissed about that whole beguiling thing? That guy is still a little angry about it. But, the tree is not currently angry. We gotta wait for clairvoyance to wear off, otherwise these people will rush in and murder. Let's deal with the reshaping nook. So, I know after you do the Tomb of the Eaters quest, like, you get reshaped. I've never seen one outside of that quest, though, which is why I'm like, I wonder. When was there a way for that to happen? Oh god, no, 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 no. Oh, they're gonna kill him. Well. Oh boy. Hi, Six Shrew. <laughs> Crystal shard mail. Ah, oh. oh yeah, yeah. I think we're gonna beguile you. Yep, yep. We're gonna beguile you, and then we'll just hope that you're not angry next time we run into you. But I need I need stuff for my new new friends. Six taco supremes. I should really just buy stuff. I have so many tacos. All this theft is just not... It's not fair. Uh, we have two clones and a new cat to worry about. Alright, Shame. It's weird that your name is Shame, but let's not worry about it. Let's give you some stuff. Let's see if you equip any of these things. Equips a crystal shard mail. Manage gear. Hold on, weird artifact is a hat, huh? Ganglionic teleprojector. Well, that that is very handy. You've got to be so loaded with these emeralds! Manage gear. Alright, so nothing I can put on your head. Nothing for your face. Nothing for your back. Can't wear gloves, huh? Well, shard mail's better than nothing, so... That's fine, I guess. Uh, give back all this other stuff. Wait for time to pass. All right. Professor Sex Savior. Crystal Shard Mail. <coughs> oh, thanks for worrying about me, Benji. Good boy, you. Some flawless crystal gauntlets. Alright, you're all set then. Hey, you! Come stand over here. Crystal shard mill. This is the guy I just did. You! Direct to move. Go stand over there. Spare parts. Crystal shard mail. Leather cap. Goggles. Leather cloak. Stun rod. Bronze dagger. Jacked phase cannon. Crystal gauntlets. Crystal boots. Well, never mind. You're all kitted out too. Uzi! Mm.
Uzi, I would like to give you items. Here's some spiked gauntlets. Here is a bunch of crystal weapons. Equips a slime stain brunes, two handed, an iron longsword, a club, a desert chris. Oh god. What you people do over here? Ah. Uh, where did he die? Pocketed vest. There's Fullerite Flake Armor, so I'm guessing that's where he died. Go back to the start of your vision. Uh... Nah, nah, whatever. He he's dead. These things happen. Get the boots. Fullerite Flake Armor is terrible. Quartz for a hat, though, we'll grab. Love Injector, Thermo Cask. That's all he had? I definitely don't feel bad about the murder now. Uh, I feel like I should give someone else the Quartz for a hat. All right, what do we got here? Thermoelectric cell. Telescopic monocle. 21 pounds of armor. I want to give that to someone else to carry. 40 pounds of missile weapon. Give that to someone else to carry. All right, so you, kitty cat, please just hold on to quartz for a hat. Monocle. <coughs> and this very heavy gun. Oh yeah, also... Just in case anyone gets thirst thistles. Here's a source of fresh water for you. Source of fresh water for you. I was pretty drunk. What did you talk? What did you talk about last night? Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> that was yesterday, man. Who could remember that? Give items. That's a lifetime ago. Alright. This party is very good. We have three of me, a interdimensional cat that will just rip you apart. Oh, I gotta tell uh Six Shrew not to follow me. Uh you stay here, please. All right. Feeling good. Again, if we find stuff, it could get us some good gear. Not that that's all that important now. I'm feeling I'm feeling a lot better gear-wise. Although we, st we still need Zedekro. <laughs> But now that we have a cat that can dismember everybody, I'm hoping we get some body parts pretty soon. I'll reduce you people to dust piles. Painted? 
At twilight, under a marvelous and aquamarine sky, the people of Kiruk saw an image on the horizon that looked like an axe bathed in aquamarine. It was Kuram. And after she came and left Kiruk, the people built a monument to her, and thenceforth called her the Aquamarine Axe. Well, this place sucks. Let's get out of here. I guess I'll get my last legendary item over in that blinking spot. Silver Rome! And also, there's an evil me here. Where are you, evil me? Ooh, multiple- oh, fuck this, mad poles? No, thank you. Bye. I need body parts, but I don't want to be my body parts. Okay, we have interdimensional psychics. Extra-dimensional ogre ape and esper from the whimsical folk of Pi. This could be a new friend. Maybe. Maybe we make uh, an interdimensional gorilla join the team. Let's precog. He just sundered his own mind like a dum dum. Let's teleport directly next to him. First, we're going to sell him. He's useless. You suck. And then we're going to beguile him. Never mind. He's inside a bunch of angry plants now. I. Don't even know where he is. There he is. Uzi, please don't get pulled into a portal. Fucking dumb gorilla. I just want to beguile you. I've shamed you, and now I need you to join the team. Hey, goat folk? Ah, uh, I don't know which one's which now! No! <laughs> What's my astral tabby even doing? I'm just walking around, looking at stuff. You know how it is. One of you is the real ape. I don't know which one. Aggressive. This one is not shaped, so I don't think it's him. The injured one's probably the real one, right? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna beguile one of them and see what happens. Okay, one of them's joined the party. There's a lot of trees that are gonna wanna beat me up. Oh burgeoning. We just have to wait and see which gorilla is still here when the smoke clears. Any gorillas around? I do not have a gorilla on my list of companions at the moment. Starting to think that maybe I didn't beguile the right one. Clairvoyance, two, one. Would like to go back to the start. You know what? Yes, actually. A fullerite armor with electrical generation five. That is heavy armor. All right, here's the new plan. We're going to teleport. Well, mass mind precog. If I freeze him. We'll have a much easier time. So let's try and chill him. Berate him. Oh, 
Wait. Is he not here anymore? What? He disappeared when I did that. What the shit? I believe those electric shocks were, uh... I gotta see this astral tabby take someone apart. That's very important to me. I need body parts. Gorilla friend! Okay. Let's try this again. Try and chill you. Why don't you cool? Oh, oh God, he burgeoned. Oh, there's multiples of him still. Astro Tabby's a custom race in fifth edition. No, it's Dreamlands Cat. I see. 160 pounds. Yeah, Fullerite is way too heavy to be useful. Jabenji. Jabenji boy. Sorry, I got I got distracted. I got I got pet and, and coo at Benji a little bit. Ja good Benji boy. Starting to think maybe I don't care about getting this gorilla to join my team. Back to the beginning of the precognitive vision. Zoom out. What if I were to teleport and love injector the goddamn bastard? Drop. Tonics. Love injector. Let's equip that in my main hand. Teleport right on top of him. All right. He's in love with me. We're going to make fun of him because negging is always important. I missed. I ne I negged nothing. Very good. Whatever. Now he's my real follower. Welcome to the team. Kumuk Umuoka, the extra dimensional ogre and from the whimsical land of Pi. Delicious. Uh, pick up gear. Acquire new mutations. He has followers, you say. He has Sunder Mind. Oh, he has good stuff. I can't do this. I'm too tired. <laughs> oh, God, no. No, come on. I got my favorite crash where I'm able to use the UI, but I can't do anything. I just, I just finally got this goddamn gorilla from the land of Whimsical Pie. And it had to go and do this to me. Took three tries to get that gorilla. God damn it. <laughs> well, now it'll be random chance if we run into a similar thing. Cyan Deltoid Nakish. Anything good here? Nope. Sure. Here we go, okay, interdimensional fun friends. Oh, 
Okay, who's an interdimensional fun friend? Chitinous Puma is not. The goat folk are definitely not. I'm sorry, does that goat folk randomly have jewel encrusted jewel encrusted polyhedral rings? Valuable. <clears throat> Where am I? Uh, I hate my companion's bubbles. So annoying. Huh. Where is the interdimensional psychic? This is a normal dimension slumberling. Two-headed slug snout from this dimension. Normal ass salamander from this dimension. Ooh, a chest though. Weird artifacts? Examine it. Metamorphic polygel! Oh, baby. Well, that right there, that's what you call very nice. Very nice. Alright, I don't know where the interdimensional interloper is. I don't, I don't see anybody, but like, holy hell. Polygel just in a random chest? Yes, please. All right, Comrade Hall, we got some clockwork beetles right off the bat. Members of the Mighty Sprout. I'm sorry, is that a walking, a traipsing mortar? Probably want to take care of that pretty quick. A lot of people stuck in a wall over there, good for them. Come on, Astral Tabby. Have you dismembered anybody? I gotta, like, pay attention to shame on the list here and see if they ever... I just, I need body parts. That's all I'm after. Oh, Auto Explorer. A lot of nice fences over here. My team, very powerful. Okay, unfortunately, powerful or not. Oh, good lord. That cloneling made two copies of Uzi. Bubble? Leave the screen? Turn the bubble off? Re-enter the map? Leave the screen? Oh, I don't like not seeing Uzi right now. Recog? Where the fuck is Uzi? Uzi's supposed to come with us when we do that. Ah, uh, yes, go back to the start of my vision. Okay, we clearly have to... Do something about this. We have to get Uzi. Oh no, 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 no. Clone of 
clone of Lost Uzi. He's been hit by the things, which means he is very much covered in weird garbage that I don't quite understand. Fuck me. How do we get past this problem? All of his garbage is on the floor, too. Okay, well, step one is unfortunately we need to get in there. The cloneling is a big problem. If I were going to try and fix Uzi, I think I would just hit him with a love injector. Just try and get him back on team. Ah, shit. Where'd he go? Clone of... That's... No, that's clone of... Oh, I don't have time for this. I'm in precog. Where's the real one? There's another clothing there. Oh, oh my. Oh my goodness. Um. Wait, wait. Clone of. Putrid, slimy, salty, soupy, lust. There's the real one. I don't know what to do about this lost thing. Proselytize him again, maybe? There's proselytize. Haven't had to use this for a while. We've already proselytized him. That one's wounded. That one's in perfect condition. Why is my Astral Tabby so very far away right now? I don't... I don't know what to do in this situation. Oh, I was hitting one to do my lays, but I was on the wrong fucking list. I assume the lost thing is like a time-based thing. We just need to like keep him alive long enough that he's okay, maybe? Maybe? Well, whatever happens is gonna happen for real right now because I'm out 